Hi everybody, this is Mr Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In this lesson, we're going to talk about a part of English that causes many young learners of English to have difficulty. A part of English that is very scary. Something that many students learning English tend to avoid. Today, we're going to talk about grammar. What exactly is grammar? Grammar is the system that is built up by words, all with their own meaning and place within a sentence. The sentence is the result of composing these words in the correct order. Grammar is one of the hardest parts of learning English and is the main reason why many people give up studying English as a second language. Grammar can be divided into eight sections. Verbs. Words that describe an action. Doing words. Nouns. Words that give a name to something. Naming words. Adjectives. Words that add description to something. Describing words. Adverbs. Words that add meaning to an action. Action words. Pronouns. Words that show possessiveness and replacing nouns. Relate words. Prepositions. Words that describe where and when. Placement words. Conjunctions. Words that continue a sentence. Join words. Interjections. Words that show emotional sounds. Exclaim words. Examples of verbs Act, make, jump, open, push, run, speak, swim, throw, walk. Examples of nouns Cat, computer, dictionary, dog, egg, house, man, paper, water, woman. Examples of adjectives Big, cold, damp, fat, hairy, heavy, small, stupid, tall, weak. Examples of adverbs Loudly, fervent, slower, lazily, often, well, quietly, abruptly, Constantly, faster. Examples of pronouns. Hers, his, ours, some, their, who, you, yours. Examples of prepositions. At, during, for, from, in. Of, on, since, to, with. Examples of conjunctions. Also, and, but, for, or, so, though, yet. Examples of interjections. Ah, dear. Huh? Um, oh, huh, um. How, 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 how important is grammar? 
If you want to master the English language, then you will need to know how sentences are formed. However, it is not the most important part of learning English. Remembering the meaning of words and expanding your vocabulary will always be the most important part of learning English. So try to relax and take it easy. Remember, grammar is not a set rule. In fact, the English language is constantly changing. So it is fair to say that grammar will change too. Even if you are the greatest English speaker in the world, you will need to keep up to date with the new words and ways of speaking. I hope you have found this lesson useful and interesting. This is Mr. Duncan in England saying thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.